Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. It's Jane once again and today I'm sharing with you my quick thoughts on this sample set from Clinique, My Happy Range. I have this for quite some time now and I finally had the time to film a review. I will also briefly show you my two full bottles I own from the line. But before you get right to the fragrances, if it's your first time in the channel, hello and welcome. I'd be very happy if you consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done already and click on the bell icon to be notified of similar videos in the future. And so, without further ado, let's get right to the set. This set contains 6 5ml fragrance samples. And opening the box... There is some perfume information on the flip side of the cover. Peony Picnic is the first fragrance in this set. This is a fruity, floral, rose peony perfume. Quite generic, not a bad scent though. This will give you rose body mist's vibe. Great for gifting to a younger teenager who's exploring perfumes. This lasts anywhere from 2-4 to four hours on my skin depending on whether I stay mostly indoors or outdoors. Projection is soft. This sits closer to the skin. Youthful, inoffensive, and great to wear around people. Blind by worthy if you are into fresh, fruity, floral, rose peony perfumes. I personally am not getting a full bottle. A very safe scent but a little too generic for my age and taste. That's Peony Picnic. Coco and Cashmere. I have included this in my top 10 vanilla perfumes for warm climates. So you can guess that this, I really like. This is notes of cocoa, vanilla, and musk. This leans gourmet but this is quiet and subdued. Nothing loud or over-the-top sweet. This is an easy reach when you need some cottony warmth and comfort. There is a calming quality to this as well. I describe this to be the daytime equivalent of Prada Candy Night. They have that same musky, delicious cocoa vanilla scent profile but this can be worn even in daytime. This is close to the skin and you definitely have to respray a ton to enjoy the scent much longer. This disappears to nothingness after the 2 hour mark sadly. Nonetheless, I enjoyed wearing this especially on cooler rainy days. I just wished it lasted longer. Although a full bottle is very affordable, I am on the fence about getting a bottle as I'm looking to own Prada Candy Night. Anyway, if you think that Prada Candy Night is too much for you, try this one, Coco and Cashmere. Baby Bouquet is the white floral offering in this set and essentially is a fresh floral fragrance. Again, quite generic smelling to my nose. I get mostly jasmine, musky with green touches. Great for daytime use as this is nothing heavy. This could be entry-level white floral for anyone looking to explore the world of white floral perfumes. I do not find this particularly youthful unlike Peony Picnic. I think a woman way past her teens can start to appreciate this scent profile. White florals generally give me mature vibes. Sniffing from the bottle, this is very very pleasant but when I sprayed on my skin, this pulled in dolic and very soapy on me. As you can see, this is the least worn sample of them all. A definite no for me, this one, True Sardi Donna Eau de Toilette, is infinitely better and a much better value in my honest opinion. Get that one instead. Indigo Mist features the notes of bluebells, melon, violet leaf, cashmere, and oris, which to me are great note combination. This I love the opening, but as soon as the fruity nuances are gone, this becomes a scrubber on me. I think this goes into a masculine cologne direction, and on my skin, it just isn't working. Maybe this will smell better on a man. I've tried this a couple of times in different weather and skin conditions, and every single time, I had to layer this with Peony Picnic to drown this out. A hard pass for me. After a big disappointment with Indigo Mist, Cookies and Kisses makes a comeback for this line. This is frequently being compared to Mason Margiela's By the Fireplace, but to me, this is the sweet little sister of By the Fireplace. They belong to the same campfire scent profile, the smoky, burning wood, vanilla chestnutty family, but Cookies and Kisses took all the marshmallowy sweetness with her. I don't think I ever wear By the Fireplace by itself, but this I most definitely can when I crave for the campfire feel now and then. Check this one out if you're looking for a more feminine, sweeter, wearable version of By the Fireplace. Lily of the Beach. First of all, look at how much I've worn. 
Second, I think this is a great standalone fragrance. I cannot think of layering this with another perfume in this line. Mixing this might ruin the scent entirely. Third, I received compliments wearing this one. Though this is not a big projector, this carries a wonderful sillage on air. I get asked what I was wearing. Fourth, definitely full bottle worthy in this set, but of course, that's just me. The main notes on these are solar lily, frangipani, and hints of coconut. As this dries down, this blends beautifully well with skin, at least on my skin. It doesn't seem like I've sprayed anything on. Yes, this will give you beach vibes, but you won't smell out of place if worn day to day it doesn't have that for the beach only vibe as uh, this doesn't pull santan lotion on the coconut and i suppose the tropical flowers blend in well with our tropical climate so it doesn't really smell out of place this i absolutely recommend for you to try if you're looking for an affordable tropical beachy smell lily of the beach Three of these are great to own and they are Lily of the Beach, Coco and Cashmere, and Cookies and Kisses. I recommend you try these three fragrances out. The two florals are meh. I, you probably get better value checking out other fragrances in the same scent category. And Indigo Mist did not work for me so I couldn't recommend. The full bottles come in 15ml bottle size only. I own Peace and Jasmine and Blue Sky Neroli. Peace and Jasmine is a fresh, coming scent that you can wear to bed as well. Blue Sky Neroli is a refreshing after shower type perfume, great for the high heat and is totally unisex. I wear this on their own. I do not necessarily think to layer them. For my viewers in the Philippines, Clinique fragrances are available in major department stores and the Clinique flagship store in Shopee and Lazada online. The price of a 15ml bottle that's the only size they carry are anywhere from 1,000 to 1,350 pesos. So that's a set for my review of this set. I hope you found something of value. Let me know down in the comments below if you've tried any fragrance from this line. And any favorites from this line so far? I think this will make for great stocking stuffers if you're looking to find gift ideas for the coming holidays. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you like this video, please don't forget to share this to your friends. Hit the thumbs up button below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and please hit on the bell icon to be notified of future videos from the channel. Thanks again for watching, stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye!